Good afternoon, St. Petersburg, Tampa, Detroit, Los Angeles, New York City, Miami Beach. Welcome to Florida Virtual Home Tour and KevinInTheUSA.com. We are featuring and showcasing an awesome townhome here in St. Petersburg. But first, today is May 9th, 2020. I just want to wish all the moms out there a happy Mother's Day weekend. Uh, it's been a rough couple of weeks. It's time to take mom out and treat her. Uh, I know Florida is back open and uh, with limited capacity in the restaurants, but there's always takeout and cookout if you can't dine out. Uh, definitely uh, treat her well or just hang out and uh, gather with some friends if that's not the case. And also be safe out there. Uh, definitely our weather's warm here in Florida and other parts of the country, wear your sunscreen. Uh, okay, um, the, the virtual home tour that we're gonna feature is a three bedroom, three and a half bath, two car, two story town home. It's located in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's very close to the St. Pete Clearwater Airport. Omerton Road is to the north, 275, and you have Roosevelt. It's in an excellent location if you have to work or have to go anywhere in the greater Tampa Bay area. Not too, not too far from Tampa. The beach is over to the west. To the north is Pasco Hernando County. To the south is Manatee and Sarasota County with those Sarasota beaches. Uh, Got to mention them. Uh, the townhome, it lists at $450,000. The community, it's gated and it is move in ready. If you are looking to move very soon, this home is available and it can be shown with a private tour connect with Kevin in the USA.com. I'm all over social media. Also, uh, my broker is Momentum Real Estate out of uh, Brandon, Florida. I got an awesome uh, broker, Pat Lynch, that I work with. Great coach, great mentor, great teacher. And uh, him and I will see that the deal goes through as flawlessly as we possibly can all the way through till closing. Please connect with me. I would love to be your search engine. You know there's ways out there to uh, search for properties on your own. I'd like to add some personal touch to it and become your search engine, your personal search engine. Uh, okay, everybody, let's go ahead and take uh, and do a tour right now. I'm gonna take my uh, phone off the, my equipment here, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look outside first and give you a look at the front of this property. And you also get to look at uh, the neighborhood as well. Water fountain with the dolphins. Uh, that's just basically a part of Florida, the dolphins. Everybody loves them. The community is gated. It is very well kept. The landscape is trimmed almost to perfection. And if you listen closely, you can hear the birds chirping. Alrighty. Hey, Melvia. Thanks for tuning in. Thank everybody for tuning in and checking out. This is the second video we're shooting that's live on Okay, we are back. Thanks everybody for staying in. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so you can get a look at this property. This is a three bedroom, two and a half, three and a half bath, two car, two story townhome in St. Petersburg. It's a great location. There's pavers on the, the driveway. Brick on the walls, nicely painted and decorated. So let's head on inside. You notice it's got an automatic a door lock, a keyless door lock, glass front door. 
and the first thing you see is a alcove. The alcove can be lit up. It's a very large foyer. And over to the left, we have a, a dining room. Uh, this dining room has an alcove in it that is lit up. It's got decorative columns. Uh, a lot of people are taking these dining rooms and converting them into dens, studies, libraries. Um, the kitchen has, and we are back. Uh, Wayne Scotting on the walls. There's a lot of trim work in this home. There's a lighted alcove. Look how beautiful that Wayne Scotting is. We'll get a look at the columns from this view. There are quite a few archways in this home too. It's another alcove and it has a, an outlet to plug in a, a lighted fixture. You notice here in this foyer area, we have some windowless windows. You heard me windowless windows, they're really awesome. And there's a lot of trim work just like it would be in a home, in the home window. And I'm gonna remove my props before we go any further so we can get a good look at the kitchen. And I'm gonna back on out and we'll get a view of the kitchen without those props. Okay, here we go. Uh, you see this kitchen is very large. Uh, the area right here would be for your dining room table in uh, you could literally take out that island and give it a little more space and put a huge dining room table and convert the dining room into uh, another choice. But here you see we have some stainless steel appliances, side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator with ice maker and water dispenser, a double oven top to bottom, uh, all stainless steel appliances, microwave, uh, dishwasher, flat top stove, and a deep kitchen sink basin. If you did choose to keep this island, it would be great to serve food from. And also notice there's a desk area. The desk area has a huge cabinetry above it, and we'll check them out later. But this home is move-in ready in St. Petersburg. And to be honest, it must be seen to really be appreciated. So let's go ahead and walk on in the kitchen. How awesome that cabinet is. Beautiful. And you got a bump out above the oven. It's got a huge kitchen sink. And we'll go ahead and focus over to the dining room. This is where I would put the, the kitchen table and use the other room, the dining room, for a study of some sort. Check those archways out, they're awesome. Let me go ahead and show you the size of the cabinets in this home before we go any further. Look at your cabinet space in here, it's huge. It's awesome. Of course, you got your desk area. It's where I would put my cell phone charge it up this cabinet is near the microwave and they've left some dishes and of course you got your drawers here let's see what is below this one oh we got two sliders. That's one. These are really, really nice to have. Um, it definitely utilizes that airspace that the cabinet sometimes is a waste, but this here, they utilize it very well. All right, how about inside the fridge? Looks like there's plenty of room for some turkeys in that freezer. Fridge has a lot of storage. A double oven. That would be nice. During the holidays, cooking pies in one and turkeys in another. And we 
got a nice cabinet uh, above the oven. That's definitely some storage for those items that you don't use too often. Notice the crown molding, recessed lighting, and a ceiling fan with a light in the kitchen. And the archways, there's many archways in this home. I'll try to capture some of them right now. Okay, this is a view I like to look at is from the kitchen sink. Uh, I like to do dishes. And this uh, is important to me, the view from your kitchen sink. On the left is where you would hang your television, your entertainment center would be there. You got your wood burning fireplace, which can be converted to gas. Uh, this room features recessed lighting, crown molding, and a ceiling fan. And I believe up on the top would be pre-wires for surround sound speakers. Alrighty, let's head on over and go to the family room here and get a closer look. What's nice is above that fireplace, you can turn off the lights or turn them on. And you could showcase a nice picture, a family portrait of your favorite Florida beach scene. Go great there. And there is an outlet on top just in case you need something that requires electricity. If you notice the window coverings on the sliders, those are uh, plantation shutters and they do keep a lot of light out. When I come back down, we'll go ahead and shut them and I'll show you how much light they keep out. But this is the view from, from the den area. Look at that staircase, the kitchen, the wood in there, stainless steel cabinets. Shows awesome. All that crown molding. They did not spare much in the crown molding department. Recessed lighting above. Tile floor all about. What's up, Jason? Thanks for joining. Alrighty, folks, let's go on upstairs. Check out the second story. Notice the wainscoting on the walls here. There's a tremendous amount of trim work in this home. Present connection. We're back. A double door master bedroom. Look how high these ceilings are. It features recessed lighting as well. There's carpeting in here. And to the left is the master bath. The master bath features a whirlpool garden tub with a step up to it. The home, this bathroom in this home really does show very well and I would encourage anybody to come and take a look at it uh, if you're interested in this property. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the vanity. It's a double sink vanity, cabinetry around, double mirrors, plenty of lighting, medicine cabinet. The commode is private on the right and straight ahead is a linen closet. Oh, here we go. It's walk-in shower. The walk-in shower features a bench very decorative tile and a double shower head. The one shower head is removable and the second one is stationary. And here's a look from the inside of the shower out to the bathroom. There's tile floor in here as well. It's got the crown molding, recessed lighting as well. Alrighty, let's head on into the master. But first, we're going to stop at the closet space. Who doesn't need closet space? This, this room features two closets. This is the smaller of the two. And you got the walk-in closet. Uh, this one is huge. Wouldn't take much to put some extra shelves a little higher up and store some 
some seasonal items that you don't use very often. It's carpeted in here. I got a great light. Plenty of room in here. Okay, into the master bedroom. The master bedroom features crown molding as well, recessed lighting, a ceiling fan, and also a surround sound. I believe it's wired for surround sound. Up top there, some pre wires again. Five and a quarter molding on the baseboards, plantation shutters. In just a minute, I'll demonstrate those shutters and show you how much light that they keep out. There's an awesome ensuite in the back here. Uh, and to boot, the ensuite has a view, it has an awesome view. This room also is featuring a recessed lighting, crown molding, and a ceiling fan. It'd be a great reading room. Uh, have a cup of coffee it's too, if it's too cold to go outside and look at your fountain. And this would be your view. The shutters are definitely decorative. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut these louvers. Each door has four panels. This St. Petersburg townhome is moving ready. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath, two car, two story townhome in St. Petersburg. It's not very far from the Clearwater St. Pete Airport, Omerton Road to the north, I-275, Roosevelt Boulevard. It's an excellent location for the greater Tampa Bay area. Okay, that's the shutters closed. I want to hit these lights and see if I can turn them off. Okay, this is how dark it is in the master bedroom during the day. And you can see, uh, should you need to sleep late, uh, you definitely would have plenty of darkness in here. And of course, you know, looking that way, I have those lights on, but you could shut them off. Okay, there we go. This is the master bedroom with all the lights off and the plantation shutters drawn. We'll get one more look at them. It's an awesome master bedroom. There's crown molding. I'm sure I mentioned it already throughout the, the master bedroom as well. Wood floors in the hallway that lead to the guest bathrooms and bedrooms. The first bedroom on the left, uh, in fact, each room features its own. Each room features its own bathroom. This bathroom has a bathtub. The others have a walk-in shower. Here's the bathtub, and we need a light bulb in there. Double door closet with a shelf above it. Here again, we have the high ceilings. And there's also, this home is listed as a double. Sorry about the bad connection, folks. I believe it's still gonna keep going, but this home is listed, but you could call it a triple master because each bedroom has its own exclusive bathroom. Uh, it's, it'd be great for a weekend. Uh, they would have their own privacy, their own room, their own bathroom. This bedroom also features a double door closet shelf above it and is in the front of the home. Let's take a quick look at that. Although the view in the back is really nice, the view up front is nice too. You got the, got the fountain there. It features a ceiling fan with a light in it. And it has a dimmer switch. This bathroom has a walk-in shower glass door enclosure, removable shower head, 
and it features a bench. The home has many upgrades to it, the tile work, tile flooring in the, in the walk areas. All the wet areas have some type of tile form. Got your medicine cabinet also. Alrighty, that's the third bedroom. It's the upstairs. And this is a three bedroom, three and a half bath, two car, two story townhome in St. Petersburg, Florida. It is move-in ready at $450,000. If you're interested, please connect with KevinInTheUSA.com in Brandon, Florida. And the utility room. Check this. Uh, this features front-loading washer and dryer. Um, you can load them up. You've got six cabinets above. This room also has a closet. Kind of like a linen closet. There's a utility tub. And right behind me is the linen closet. There's tile in this room. Wood floor in the hallways here. And it has the Nest thermostat. There's uh, recessed lighting, crown molding in the master. This area here is just loaded with wood beautiful wood floor high ceilings and this is the view at the top of the stairs we're going to head on downstairs and i got a couple of uh features i want to show you one is a surprise feature not all homes have it but a lot of two-story homes have it and this is the view you have from coming down your stairs about two-thirds of the way down Awesome columns, crown molding, recessed lighting, ceiling fans and tile. I'm going to go ahead and shut these plantation shutters and show you how much light that these block in the daytime. You never know, you might, might want to watch a movie, get your, your home theater going. A lot of us, a lot of us have been uh, quarantined and home working and making time for those movies now and then wouldn't hurt. I'm going to go shut a couple of these lights off too. So you can see how much light is, is kept out with the plantation shutters. There's a lot of lights in this house and I'm not going to shut them all off at this point here. <laughs> but you definitely get the picture and if you would like the private tour, I can take you on a tour here and show you exactly uh, what it's like in person. But let's head on over to the half bath. I've already showed you three bedrooms, three baths, and now I'm going to show you the half bath and straight ahead is the garage. It is a two car garage and it features a garage door opener. It's a typical garage, a little bit of storage in there. On the right here is a huge pantry. One side has shelves and one side does not. It goes way up there. and a half bath. It features just a commode and a sink. Exactly what you need near the garage door when you first come in or you're outside doing uh, weeding and gardening and such. Okay, and for the surprise. This home has a little surprise I want to show you. It's that door on the right. The door on the right is a huge 
it's a huge storage area. It goes way up there. And it's great because it's near the kitchen, it's near the garage, and it's near the, the front door. Look how deep this thing goes. Go all the way back as far as I can and then show you what it looks like going out. It's massive. I can think of a hundred things to store in here. <laughs> We're, gonna, we're almost done, folks. I appreciate you hanging in. I want to take you outside and show you your backyard. My name is Kevin Couture, kevinintheusa.com. Please connect with me. Momentum Real Estate Agent, Brandon, Florida. My broker, Pat Lynch, and I. He's a great mentor, teacher, coach. If you decide you're interested in this property, please connect with me and him and I will get you through this all the way through closing. The Lanai features archways and it is screened in. I hope you can hear the sound of that fountain because um, that's included. <laughs> the sound effects are included. I'll take a look at the slider. The sliders are really huge and they're easy to move. Uh, the screen on a slider is spring-loaded, so it will, it will slide back. It doesn't just stay open on you. This room here is covered. This lanai is covered. And right out here is a patio that's kind of semi-covered. Check that out. It's really cool. That's your master suite straight up. There's a slider access also to this side of the patio. It would be a great place to put a gas grill or a barbecue grill. But this is your backyard, not your typical backyard. You have no rear neighbors. You do have a rear uh, park. And the park is outside of this gated community, Saxony Place in St. Petersburg. Uh, looking straight ahead is towards Omerton Road. Uh, there's shopping, restaurants, all kinds of services out here. It's in a great location. These offices right behind me go exactly with the theme of this particular community. And if you can see straight ahead, that is the, the gated area. So it's gated 24 seven. All right, let's go inside. I got a couple technicals I wanna talk to you about. It's nice because this snaps back. Maybe a little WD-40, it'll slide all the way closed. But you can see it's dark in here. You got the darkness when you need it and the light when you need it as well. There's many light switches in here as you can see and I am getting used to them. <laughs> Turn them off, turn them on. There we go. I think we got them all on. Let's go with it. What I wanted to show you was in this cabinet here, I've got the floor plan. Uh, this is the second floor. The first floor is right here. You can see your living room is 21 by 20. Your kitchen is 18 by 12. Uh, the dining room is 13 by 10 and the foyer is 9 by 13 it's huge the garage is over here it is not listed but it is there I assure you <laughs> and uh, this oh, this the square footage is 2967 let me double check on that I don't know if that's total square food footage including uh, non-heated but I'll get back to you on that uh, the second story here, the master bedroom, the first master bedroom, the second one is over here. Uh, the large master bedroom is 16 by 21. Uh, the ensuite is 8 by 12. Look at the size of that walk-in closet, it's 7 by 12. Um, master bedroom, 16 by 11. That's bigger than some rooms. Um, in fact, look, it's, this room here is 11 by 13. This is a 16 by 11, it's huge. Okay, 
This other bedroom is 11 by 13. That's decent. It's still a good size 11 by 13 room. I've seen um, some masters that size. The second master is 21 by 14. It's got the double door closet, the walk-in shower here. So this is a very large home, and uh, if you were just the two of you or the one of you, it would be big. Be great for having guests over. Your guests would each have their own bedroom and bathroom and, and privacy as well. Um, and there's that huge cabinet again. On the other side, I've got where this property is located. Uh, right here is where the property is located. This is Pinellas County in Hillsborough County over here on the right. Uh, you got Tampa International Airport uh, right about right around there. St. Pete Airport is right there. So you can see how this is located. You know, it's kind of in the crosshairs of the greater Tampa Bay area. Um, down here, you've got St. Petersburg, Largo, Clearwater, Dunedin, over here, town and country. So if you worked in Tampa, which we have a lot of people who live in Tampa and work in Tampa and vice versa, just go on the, the highways at rush hour and you can see. Uh, it's a great location. Over here is another map. It's a little larger. It, this is the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Uh, leads into Manatee County. Down here is Sarasota. Below it, more beaches down there. All of these beaches are within a short drive of this home. Tarpon Springs Holiday, Newport Richie, Odessa. It's a great location. Definitely, if you are interested in this property, connect with me. My name is Kevin Couture. KevinInTheUSA.com. Hashtag KevinInTheUSA. Uh, social media, Kevin Couture. And I think that concludes our whole tour. I want to thank everybody for, let me flip this around. I want to thank everybody for hanging in with uh, this tour. I know they're a bit lengthy. If you should need a private tour or more information or another virtual tour, I can surely handle that. Um, definitely give me a call, connect with me, direct message, and I'll be glad to show you. And don't forget, um, Kevin Couture wants to be your search engine. You can do all this work yourself by searching for properties and, um, or you can, you know, entertain your family and friends and do your social media thing but let us do this work for you of locating your next home and also um, if you're in the market to be selling a home uh, we can list that as well I have right here this is a super lock and uh, this goes on a home when we become uh, the uh, when we take the listing uh, it's ready and available, so if you need a home and to get sold, I got the lockbox for you. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice day. Have a great weekend, and please be safe out there.